the song that was a number one song in Sweden because I met a woman back when I was actually just getting away from my addictions. Uh, I've been clean and sober for eight years now, and it was a time. It was a time in my life when I had met this woman in Sweden in West Nashville. I guess I was only sober for about one month, and I written a song called "Going Down to the River," and she was a. Uh, I hadn't, I, I really wasn't sure how powerful the song was, but she sure didn't realize it, and she took me to a studio and helped me record the song for for free, and then brought me over to Sweden and uh, wound up with a number one song. It's called Going Down to the River. opportunity to play some of the new songs that I've been working on during the COVID virus. We all had lots of times to sit around working on material to get ready for, I guess, maybe next springtime. So I'm going to try a new one for you. And uh, as, uh, just like any other songwriter, there's always a story behind the song and there's a reason why you wrote the song. So just to talk a little bit quick about this song. <coughs> I met a woman in Sweden when I was over there touring. I started dating her, and all I could hear while I was, you know, 
going through town shopping with her. She just kept talking about her old boyfriend and how he really screwed her really bad. <laughs> and she kept going back with him, but uh, I couldn't figure that out because every time she'd go back, she'd get, you know, uh, whatever done wrong. So she was to the point where I felt like she was getting ready to give up on love, and that's how the song was inspired. because you know anytime you decide to try some new material you're not really sure how it's going to react with you folks but uh, I hope it works out okay this next song I'm going to do for y'all is a song that I wrote for a dear friend of mine who passed away a couple of years ago and I really have to talk a little bit about Tommy Turner because Tommy Turner was the person that I met when I was living at the Nashville Rescue Mission living as a homeless person and next door there was a place where uh, people would come on the weekends and do a little show for the homeless people one of the people that used to come by to that place to do a show was tommy turner and that's how i met tommy and uh, we got to become real friends real quick so i would visit tommy at his house in west nashville and when i went over to visit him the first time i realized i think he told me that his, his wife had passed away a couple of years back and he was just so in love with her 
it was almost like she was still there. The ghost of his wife was still there living with him, and that's how the song was inspired. It's called In My Dreams. In my dreams, I linger on all day long, serenading you with my song, cause I know you'll be waiting for me. I'll do something a little bit different for y'all. I wrote this song for my manager because of, when I first met him, he had a he had a juice harp in his top pocket, and I thought, well, how strange is that? He claims to be a juice harp player, so I thought maybe just for the heck of it, I would try to get a little more attention from him by writing this little song. I changed his name to Juice Harp Buford. <laughs> Have seen dancing and scatting like a crazy clown, playing his juice harp when the sun went down. They called him Juice Harp Buford from New Orleans. That's what they call him. The name of Juice Harp Buford from New Orleans. He had a big old tattoo of bold jangles on his wrist. Busted the move with a chubby chicken twist. 
Big old blood stains all down his sleeve. Turn up his lips from his juice heart disease. They call him Juice Heart. Beautiful New Orleans. Well, Juice Heart, beautiful, was his name. Then a scout and out there on the street It was his claim to fame Had a big old stack of money sitting there in his hat Always had a crowd the way that he'd scat A little bit of red, a little bit of blue Such an emotion when he played the juice Well, he couldn't really sing Cause he studied like a fool But when he played it Of money sitting there on his hat. Always had a crowd the way that he'd sky. Little bit of red, a little bit of blue. Such an emotion when he played the juice. His name was Juice Heart. Beautiful from New Orleans. His name was Juice Heart. Beautiful from New Orleans. Oh, that boy sure could sky now. I'm a man from a new old land, coolest guy I'll ever have seen. Don't you love his voice? I just went online and downloaded everything I could find by Doug Seegers. I did everything.